After making it to the state semifinals two seasons ago, Bartlett went through a rebuild with young players last year. This season, the Panthers could be back. One thing's for certain, they're talented. I feel real good about uh, our secondary is uh, probably going to be our strong point. Uh, coming back with a, a corner that was an all-state guy last year, Ruther Devin Rutherford, Ramon Rankin will be a, a, another big, big-time guy in our secondary. With a secondary in good hands, the defensive line has a top talent in Cortez Chambers Jr. Cortez is going to be a big, big factor for us on the uh, interior part of our D line. Um, you know, not only is he a, you know, the size going to be a factor, but just making him understand that if he's physical, there's nobody in this league that can stop him. On offense, quarterback Braylon Ragland transferred in from White Station. The Georgia State commit is a huge addition. He and the playmakers on the outside could help make Bartlett a team to watch in 2022. We're very excited when Braylon came in and uh, decided to, uh, you know, play his senior year here at Bartlett. Uh, we played against him last year, and I tell you what, it was a, it was being on the defensive side, having to game plan for him, uh, knowing that he's on my side this year. It, it's very comforting, and you know, just getting to watch him this summer and seeing the throws he can make and the. Just the type of leader he is. You know, we, looking out there at our receivers, I don't know if an, another receiving core is going to look as good as us getting off the bus. I mean, we've got guys that look the part. They can do it. you know, you got Marco Tyson, who will play both ways. He's going to play. Uh, he played defense for us last year. He'll play offense this year. He's dynamite. You've got Snap Reed, who is, uh, you know, dynamite, looks like a D1 receiver, plays like a D1 receiver. Hopefully he... Uh, you know, has another big year like he had last year. I, I just couldn't be more excited about it. Like I said, we're closing the gap uh, individually. You know, we've talked to him about it, but we're also trying to close the gap within this region, you know, getting up there and that back in the mix with the White Havens and the Collierville's and being in the same conversation with those guys, you know. Um, you know, that's not the end result, but we've got to get to that point before we can take the next step.